Let's create this masking blur effect in Friction. Open up a new project and let's give the background a slightly blue tint. And reduce the frames up to 150. Zoom out on the canvas, the timeline. Select a circle and press shift and draw a perfect circle. Remove the stroke and add a fill. Let's keep it black and center it on the scene. Now press S and drag your mouse to scale it a little bit. Ctrl D to duplicate. And let's give it a blue tint, blue hue. Now I'll add a raster effect of blur and increase the blur. I'll bring it to the bottom. Now select both of them by holding shift and group it. Convert it into a layer. Now make it DSTIN destination in so that it will be masked by the other circle let's rename this to clip mask and the other one to planet now you can move that in the up or down direction press G and drag the mouse and click to confirm Now add a keyframe at zeroth frame and go to about 100 and increase its Y position. I'll keep it just around that. Now if you press space to playback, you can see the blurred circle is animating. Now select the y-axis graph to be shown on the graph editor. Now select the graph editor. Now you can see the red line. Move it around. You can click on a node and let's make it smooth. Click on it and press that button. And now drag it so that the transition will be smooth. Let's do that to the other node as well. Now if you play it back, you can see the difference. Now let's create a text object and type in something. And I'll change the font, center it. And I'll center it on the canvas as well, the scene. Now press S and drag your mouse to scale it. Click again to confirm. Change it to bold and give it a blue hue. Center it. Now let's animate the opacity for the text. Select the opacity, add a keyframe and make it 0 in the 0th frame. And around there you can make still keep it 0. And in 100 you can make it 100%. So you can see it will animate. And let's change that transition as well. Click the opacity and turn on the graph editor. Zoom in. And let's make it smoother. Now 
Now I'll duplicate this text again. Drag it below and double click to rename it. Now let's change its size. Press S and scale down. Change the font. Place it in the bottom like that. Now go to spacing and increase the letter spacing to fit the title. Now let's render this. Keep the same scene and give an output of MP4 without the audio. And render this. And that's how you create this simple masking effect in Friction. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching.